I've, le I've learned to live in that uh, in that swamp. If you remember my little video about us all sitting on our own different little ledges of knowledge, our now ledges. Well, I've always thought my ledge has been very far from everybody else's. I can see everybody else's, they're all sitting in a great big huddle. And I'm always off outside to the thinking and studying. I think something was taken off of us with uh, the stiff upper lip of the British. Something to do with sharing. Not just material stuff, but the metaphysical love and even hatred. It's just supposed to be stayed, and uh, you're not supposed to show your emotions, are you? I won't show his face, but it's, it's this thing here. This is kind of what it's all about, and yet some people will tell you that this is demasculizing men. No. No. Demasculizing men is forcing them, forcing them to become something they're not. Not all men are meant to be warriors. Not all ladies are meant to be mothers. I think we're all struggling to find our space still, our, our role in this world. But for myself, and Jay and his wishing, and I've heard Jazz say it before and others, that we could all live in one place, for myself, we already are. Call it City Earth, if you wish. We're all here together now. Might be quite far away from each other. But if we set our minds to it, any one of us could be with the next person that we love the next day. Sometimes the same day. That's what it used to be about, didn't it? Everyone you loved was within grasp, within reach, able to help, able to care. Able to give a shit and think about things. Big, big thank you to Rory McFizz, Ian Neon, Eon, Conspiracy Mystic, Rory Gale. The comments are they cheer me up immensely. <laughs> For those of you who just watch and don't comment, thank you as well.
apologise if all you can hear is my breathing. I'm not going to edit these ones. These ones down so much. Um, if at all. Even though they've got pauses in them. It's only a 20 minute walk to work anyway. <laughs> found many ways over the years to help take my mind off the swamp. And sometimes the lure is just uh, too great and I'll get sucked under for a while. It's kind of weird, I've been there this weekend and uh, a couple of times this happened this year I find some of you, those I know that are watching now, have felt the same at the same time. With Coinky Dink. Many of the words I was using last week popped up on the Globebusters the other night. <laughs> I'm pretty certain there's no one on there watching my vids. <laughs> Very special Koinky Dink for Lloyd Gale. It doesn't matter if no one believes me, what the bloody hell was that? <laughs> it doesn't matter if no one believes me, but it's true, it's there, and I will show you. I find they're, they're a little bit like, um, I don't drive myself, but I know what the phenomena's like where you, you buy a car and suddenly you see that car everywhere. And after a while, you don't see so many of the cars you used to have. Once you start looking at the stuff, you will see it everywhere. Some people think there's not many wildlife anymore. Don't even notice it's there. But once you look for it, oh my goodness, you see so much. Extraordinary things. I've seen some things that are, um, I'll never see again. I know I'll never see again while watching nature. I saw I saw a worm coil up and jump from the sunshine to the shade. I saw it do it twice, and I never had the presence of mind to film it or anything back then. It was astonishing. <laughs> a worm jumping. It was the coil that made me think about other stuff. I like to think of my life, our lives, as spirals, coils. I think of them as tornadoes, where behind you it closes down to a spiral point of your birth. But the future is, is open with choices. I think our coils were constricted, restricted. I think to open them back up again we have to do what Jay's been doing. Jay was doing this morning, sorry. Yesterday, I'm not sure. <laughs> when I used to watch uh, the news as a child, and I'd see ladies in pain because people had died in wars around them, and they'd be screaming and wailing. It didn't, it didn't only scare me, it kind of disgusted me because I didn't think people should behave like that. I don't 
don't think that anymore. I think we should let it out. When my stepdad died, I, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop crying physically. I couldn't make myself stop. I'm not a crier when I don't want to be. But then I couldn't stop it. I saw someone else suffering in the same way when they lost their dad. And the looks people gave him for, for breaking down and crying so hard at the funeral. I don't wish to see that anymore. I go to uh, another funeral and uh, people are the complete opposite and just hold it all in. And I don't want to see that anymore either. I don't think my mum ever let it go that my nan died. Even now she holds it all in. I don't think we teach our children the right stuff. I hope that changes. People are so scared of allowing children to share in grief. As adults, they still don't know how to share. This is wrong in my eyes. Peace and luck to you all. Alright, so I may have left that on a bit of a bum note earlier. So my little Lori Gale caught coincidence. Can you can you see it yet? Yeah? Yeah, they're just about all the letters we've got left on the fridge. The the last thing up there was was polar bear. I think the word ice. So yeah, there's a little bit missing, of course. But then I realised, of course, uh, the G's everywhere, innit? <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoy. Peace and luck. Gold and gems, Google and grams, grandma and grandpa, God, and geometry.